Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this tutorial we're going to have a look at how we change the colour of type. So let's dive straight into it and have a look at how we change type colour in Final Cut Pro. So the first thing we're going to do is add some type to our timeline. Now there's two kind of quick ways to do this. One is to come up to our type options up at the top left here, and we are in our titles list here, going to basic title and dragging that down to the timeline. Or alternatively, um, if we just quickly delete that from the timeline, if we hold down control and tap T, it will add uh, the basic title to our timeline. Now, if I select the basic title here, um, I can come up to my inspector and we'll come to the type options in the inspector. Now, if you don't see the inspector, just come to window, show in workspace and check inspector down the middle here. And once that's done, if we come into our type options, you can see here we have the option here to edit our type. So we can just select our text and type in. And we also have some preset options um, for our 2D styles up here. So we could add a bold style or a condensed style. And then all the options that we have for our type are kind of down at the bottom here. So you can scroll down, um, change the size of your font, and then to change the color of your type, you want to scroll down a little bit further and under face is where we find the color of our type. So if I hit show here, we can come to the color options here and we've got two options. We've got the option to fill it with color, a gradient or a texture. Um, and basically I've got two options for selecting color here. One is with this little drop down menu where I can select a color with my picker here. And then the other option um, that I have is if I click on this little box, it will bring up uh, the colors panel here on the left hand side. And basically you can see I've got some preset colors that I've already got set up. So I can kind of color match between different projects. And I've also got my kind of RGB uh, picker here as well. So I can select colors nice and fluidly in the circle, as well as being able to come to things like HSB, hue saturation and brightness sliders, RGB sliders, um, and that type of thing. So basically, uh, there's a couple of different ways in which we can change our color in Final Cut Pro. So if we kind of pick out a color here and close that panel, then we are good to go. So if you want to keep this color for different titles, um, you can hold down the Alt key and just drag your clip and that will duplicate it to a different spot in the timeline. We can also, um, if we want to, if we've set up a color in this title, then if we come back up to our titles here and scroll down to the face options again, if we click this box, we can drag this color on the type into uh, this kind of list of colors that we have here. So basically we can set up swatches um, for our colors in Final Cut Pro 10. So thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out some of my other tutorials on animating type. Um, also check out some of my tutorials on some of the type plugins that are available uh, for Final Cut Pro 10. Um, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.